Baldwin. I am a holistic health and wellness nurse coach. So, um, and as I said, I still work as a nurse. Um, so when you said your husband, you know, works as a nurse at Vanderbilt, I don't work, I work in a long-term care facility. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're, you know, it's like last night, you know, they're taking my temperature and I'm like, oh my God, people, it's a virus. But anyway, so today, uh, the a couple of people and Lori, she's already heard a lot of this, but uh, we're talking about since I am a stress management coach and I use holistic measures to help you with your stress. So um, I know the last uh, couple of events that I have done for Lori, I have talked about um, the four A's, which I think I did with y'all maybe at Mount Juliet, but we're not going to talk about the four A's today. So we're actually going to talk about uh, your stress character and I'm going to give you a couple of ways that you can use to manage your stress character. So I look at three cartoon characters for my stress characters, okay? So I look at, there's one that you put your, uh, you got your foot on the gas all the time and you're going, you're going, you're going. You may be always agitated, always just like, you know, just, just overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. So that stress character I consider is my Speedy Gonzalez. Some people call it the Roadrunner, but I'm a Speedy Gonzalez fan, <laughs> so I call it Speedy Gonzalez. So that's your first stress character. And you can, you know, you may associate with these, you may not associate with these, but when I'm working with people in stress management, I really begin to like, let them look at maybe what their stress character is and if they can't figure it out from there, then we go into those signs and symptoms of stress. So your second stress character is someone that is got their foot on the brake all the time. They are just like, they feel stuck. They don't know where to go. They're just like, you know, just kind of like have this blank look over their faces. So who would you consider would be as a cartoon character? So remember, I'm looking at cartoon characters. Who would you think that that might be? I'm not that way, so I don't know. Cartoon character. You already know this, don't you? No, I didn't talk about it. Lori does, because I did the very first meeting I did with her. I did this, so. Oh, no. uh, Eeyore or Droopy Dog. There you go. I'm an old Droopy Dog fan. Oh, I remember okay. when Droopy Dog yes. was around, so some of us older folks in the group. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was actually before. thinking Slowpoke Rodriguez. <laughs> well, okay. Psychic. You can, you can do that, too. So. I was thinking the seven doors, the sleepy, dopey, whatever. <laughs> well, you can probably do that, too. So, you know, Sneezy's dropped out because of the coronavirus. Yeah, we won't read that one today. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Eeyore or Droopy Dog. Because if you think about Eeyore, you know, Eeyore is just always like this ho-hum. He's always willing to go anywhere with Winnie the Pooh. But he's just like, oh, I don't know where to go. It's like, I don't want to do this. And that's kind of the way I'm feeling today. Because like I said, I didn't get in until like 2 o'clock this morning. So um, so that's your second stress character. So your third stress character would be one of those that's both. They've got their foot on the brake and their foot on the gas at the same time. So if any of us that drive like that sometimes, I mean, I am a home health nurse as well. Uh, so it's like I'm sometimes driving with my foot on the brake and on the gas. I know that's not the best thing to do, with but I do feet. that. Oh, wow. No, yeah, I mean, not usually with two feet, but yeah, sometimes I feel like that. Um, so that person is there, they're overwhelmed, they're agitated, they're just always maybe angry, but, you know, kind of on that surface. They may be stuck. They may be not knowing where to go. It's kind of like, you know, you've heard that, and you've seen that picture of the iceberg, you know, where on the, top, on the surface you've only got this little bit of the iceberg, but underneath you have this big, huge piece of the iceberg. So that would be someone kind of like that. So what would you think is a cartoon character? I haven't watched cartoons in forever. Cartoon character. And I am this way, I associate with this person, so it's like, um, because there are days that I feel like I'm overwhelmed, but then there, you know, and on those days that I feel like I'm overwhelmed, I'm like going, oh, what do I do? I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know where to go. Tasmanian devil, think about the Tas. Tas on the top is kind of like stationary. He's not really stationary, but it's kind of stationary. But underneath, he's just swirling and swirling and swirling. So that would be a cartoon character for someone. So those are your three cartoon characters. So there are a couple of different ways, and there's a lot, there's more than a couple of different ways, but some ways that you can use in your business, in your home life, 
you know, you know, you can help go home and, you know, help your husband with this and stuff, you know, since he is a nurse like I am, um, is there's a, there's a few ways. So breathing techniques. Breathing techniques are really great. Um, and I have a, um, uh, a private Facebook group for um, specifically women that um, I talked about a couple of breathing techniques um, on my Facebook Live last week. So breathing techniques are really good. So just taking those few deep breaths are really great. Okay. Um, you know, I always do it, and you know, I used to not teach nursing school, so I would have that do with my students as I was walking into, we'd be walking to a patient's room to just stop and breathe. You know, that's, that's great, calms you down, calms everything down. Another one is, um, you know, coloring. So not only, you know, I have, yes, I have my, I'm trying not to stand in the way of the picture of uh, the video just today. Um, you know, I uh, got green on today. Of course, you know, uh, next week is St. Patrick's Day, and I am part Irish. So I've got some green on, but I love to wear color. I don't wear a lot of, you know, grays and blacks or white because, and if I do have those on, I've got some piece of jewelry that makes that pop. So color's another one. So the colors you wear, and also, just by coloring, you know, I used to keep a coloring book beside my bed long before I got coloring books every day. <laughs> so coloring, you know, uh, is another good way to help you to relax. Um, another way is by music. Uh, music's a great way. You know, I tell people, you know, hey, if you want to dance around your naked, you know, naked in your kitchen on Sunday mornings, that's fine. So, but uh, music's another great way because it gets you pumped up or it gets you to relax one or the one or the other. So, you know, like jazz music, you know, classical music helps relax me. I love classical music, but I go to sleep. You know, whereas I'm listening to Phil Collins or Journey or one of those old 70s and 80s bands, you know, I'm, I'm pumped up. So, uh, you know, some music coloring. Um, we were talking about, you know, that Lori was saying she's, you know, get ready to go to Iceland and you're saying, you know, you make your own. I make my own hand sanitizer, but it's not. I actually do a lotion um, and I use, in that I use um, my brain just lemongrass, sweet fennel, and tea tree oil. I don't use witch hazel whatsoever. So, uh, but those essential oils are another great way. Or aromatherapy, we can look at it as aromatherapy because because think about, you know, the smells that you smell. That made no sense. Um, helps you to either increase your mood or decrease your mood. So you know, like for me, you know, if I'm smelling, you know, chocolate chip cookies, you know, baking, that takes me back to when I was a kid. You know, the cut of, I was born and raised on a farm and still live on that farm. You know, the smell of fresh cut hay takes me back to my childhood, so it makes me happy. So those are just some ways that you can actually use to help with your stress. Music, aromatherapy, coloring, um, and what's the other one I said? Now I'm like, now I'm like lost it. Breathing. Yeah. Breathing. So, any questions? Did I get 10 minutes today or did I do less than 10 minutes? Yeah, you have three minutes. I have three minutes left. <laughs> so, Lori's been keeping me on track because I can talk about this for, for days on end. So, um, so, your three stress characters, remember, located at Speedy Gonzalez, E or or Droopy Dog, or who did you say again? Uh, Slowpoke Rodriguez. Slowpoke Rodriguez, or uh, Tasmanian Devil. So your foot on the brake, foot on the gas, and your foot on both, foot on the brake and the gas. So, any questions, anybody? Good tips? Yeah, thank you. All right, you're welcome.